Let me explain something to you right now about my National Football League picks. I have a 95% winning percentage this year, which is astronomical. No fucking expert out there could give you what I give you, which is fucking 100% winners! First game at San Francisco, which is tonight. Seattle getting seven points at San Francisco. Now, we know the Seahawks got a good defense, obviously. One of the best defenses in the National Football League. They limited Tom Brady to 400 yards last week passing. But they did cut the running game down. However, if Tom Brady passed for 400 yards against that defense, I surmise that Harbaugh and company will get at least 200. You're not going to score in the 49ers defense, Seattle. Take the 49ers in a 17-3 victory at Candlestick, or whatever the fuck they call that now. Buffalo Bills at home, giving three to Tennessee. I'm sorry, Buffalo. You're up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But fortunately for you, you're playing the Tennessee Titans, which I still pick the Tennessee Titans with the three points to beat the Buffalo Bills. Arizona at Minnesota. Minnesota giving the Arizona Cardinals six points. Minnesota coming off a rough la loss last week at the uh, da -da 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 Our oh Robert Griffin the blocker from Twitter. All right, hey, you know whatever. I'm not even getting that. I'm not even getting that. Whatever it is that. Minnesota will cover right now. And Arizona's going. They're going to go home crying. Minnesota's going to get a win. AP all day, all day. He's going to get it done. He's going to get it done. So I'll take the uh, Vikings to cover. Cleveland Browns getting two and a half at Indianapolis Colts. A battle of the quarterback, rookie quarterbacks, which Brandon Whedon beat RG3, Tannehill, and Luck in college last year. Okay, this is a rematch of the Fiesta Bowl last year. I believe it was the Fiesta Bowl, isn't that? The Cleveland Browns right now, like I say, are a 12-4 and four team, and they're going to go into Indianapolis, and they're going to fucking destroy the Indianapolis Colts, and the Andrew Luck era has begun. It's going to suck, just like the Peyton Manning era did when it first started. The Atlanta Browns, believe that's a sure one right there. Baltimore Ravens. I was going to say Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore Ravens at Houston. Baltimore's getting six and a half points. They lost their inspirational leader, Ray Lewis, is net. Joe Flacco. They still have Flacco after watching the Houston Texans last week. No, Ravens. They're going to need a win. They're playing at home. I like the Ravens with the six and a half points. I like the Ravens to win this game outright. Even though I wish they didn't. But I like the Ravens to win this game outright. People, I'm not a believer in the Houston Texans. I never have them. Never was been. I don't believe in them. So I'm sorry. I like the Ravens. St. Louis Cardinals at home. Getting five and a half against Green Bay. Jeff Fisher. Jeff Fisher. Remember the 85 Chicago Bears team? He's going to devise a defense right now to slow Aaron Rodgers down. Five and a half points. I like the fucking St. Louis Cardinals. Or St. Louis Rams. Carolina Panthers. Getting two at home against Dallas. Tony Romo? How the fuck is Tony Romo favoring a team on the fucking road? I'm being honest with you. The Carolina Panthers suck right now. But you know what? At home with two points, I like them over the Cowboys. Cowboys suck. You can't win with fucking Romo. He's not a quarterback in the National Football League. He's one of the guys who puts up numbers at that, but then he also puts down numbers. I like the fucking Carolina Panthers. I know people are a little bit crazy. Maybe a little bit crazy, but I like the fucking Carolina Panthers with fucking two points at home. Washington Redskins getting five at the New York Giants. Bobby Griffin Jr., Robert Griffin the blocker, whatever, Robert Griffin the turd, whatever. It's over. It's over. It's over. You're going to take a beating of your life this week against the fucking New York Giants at the Giants. It's over. You're a fucking myth. You are a fucking myth. It's over. You're the Michael Vick that never was, that never could be, that won't be. So I like the fucking New York. Then people are going to sit there and say, you wish you had him in Cleveland. I wish I had a guy in Cleveland soft as a pillow. I got a six foot four fucking beast quarterback in Cleveland, Brandon Wade. I don't need no fucking RG3. I'm not trading away fucking eight years of draft picks for fucking one guy that's going to be out of the league in three fucking years. Um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home getting three against New Orleans. They're getting three points at home. Seems reasonable. New Orleans Saints need a win. They're one and four. I'd like the Saints to come up there right now and cover the three points. Tampa Bay can get 10 because I'm telling you, New Orleans right now is going to put up major fucking points. New York Jets at New England. The Jets are getting 10 and a half. New England Patriots right now. We all know what they do. They just cruise through. And they want to turn the switch on. They will. This is the week they're going to turn the switch on right now. This is the week they're going to put 54 fucking points up against the Jets. This is the week when fucking Mark Sanchez sits the fucking bench to Tim Tebow. This is the week the New England Patriots destroy the Tebow myth again as they did in the playoffs last year. Patriots are going to roll this team. They're going to lynch them. Jacksonville Jaguars. 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 Getting four at Oakland. I like the Oakland Raiders in this game. Carson Palmer, veteran quarterback against Blaine Gabbert. A guy who won't be quarterback, won't even be in the league in two years. So give the fucking four points up. Take the fucking Raiders. Cincinnati at home giving. Getting, 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 getting. One and a half points.
points against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, that's the line that I have trouble with right now. Cincinnati coming off another loss, two losses in a row. They got beaten down by the Cleveland Browns physically. Now they're playing the Pittsburgh Steelers at home. A team that needs it desperately. They both need wins. I mean, the Steelers are, what, fucking 2-3 and three right now, whatever the record is. I don't know. I think they're 2-3. and three. I look for the Bengals to put 35 points on this. This Steelers team is done. They're in the rebuilding phase right now. Whether you want to believe it or not, whether they want to admit it or not, it's over. So the Cincinnati Bengals are going to beat this team outright. 35, 24, it's over. Steelers fans, look, you do this every 20 years. you got to rebuild for about four or five years, and then you're elite for 20 years. This is a four or five this is a four or five year period where you're gonna be rebuilding. You just gotta accept it. You gotta accept it. Uh oh, here we go. The Monday Nighter. By the way, that last game was a Sunday night game, which will be a good one. Detroit Lions getting six at Chicago. Let me tell you something about Matt Stafford and Detroit Lions right now. I've seen teams defense him and fucking stop him right down and just put them fucking make them look like shit, which they are shit. The fucking Chicago Bears are going to put an ass beat. Now, this is a, a divisional rival right there. This is a divisional game. They're going to beat the fucking Detroit hapless Lions so bad this game. Jason Cutler, it's going to be 35 Detroit Lions 14. The Lions don't scare you. It was a fluke last year. Lions fans, it was a fluke last year. And if you win this game, you'll prove me wrong, but I don't think you're going to. It was a fluke last year. You shouldn't have beat the Eagles. As long as you beat the Eagles right now, because Andy Reid is a fucking piece of garbage coach. I don't believe in the Lions. Didn't believe in them last year. I'm not believing them this year. Even when they come back against the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. So I'd like for Jason Cutler, who I don't like, to win this game outright 35-14. If I'm wrong, I'm in the national TV, which we are right now, but I'm not wrong.